We're talking about sweepstakes scams. And joining us is Chris Thetford with, with the, the BBB. Chris, Chris, what, what kind of problems, of problems are, are you seeing? seeing? Wow. Well, what we're seeing is that on average, people are losing over $400 when they're a victim of this scam. There were over 3,000 of these, Molly reported, in 2020. And a good example is what happened to a woman in Quincy who was contacted by a group who, who claimed to be the American Senior Citizens Sweepstakes. Uh, she ended up giving this group $5,000 in gift cards because they told her they needed her to pay taxes on a win that she had with the sweepstakes of $3.5 million in a new car and she believed it and ended up losing over $5,000. So people need to be very, very careful with these sweepstakes because we hear a lot of times with consumers, they end up losing a lot of money like what happened in the case of the woman in Quincy. Wow, wow that's, that's so unfortunate, unfortunate happened. What, what are, are some, some of the steps, steps that people, people can, can take, take to, to protect, protect themselves? themselves? Great question. Some simple tips, Molly, are if you don't if you don't register for a sweepstakes, you're not going to win. So if somebody's contacting you telling you that you won a sweepstakes that you didn't enter, you should just automatically know that that's not the case. The other thing is you should never have to pay for a sweepstakes win. And that goes for processing fees, for shipping and handling, or for taxes. You should never have to pay. Third great tip is if you've got any questions about any sort of a sweepstakes offer, just contact us at BBB.org. We will walk you through it and explain to you the pitfalls. Chris, thank you so much. You always have great information and good tips. We appreciate your time.